Have you ever walked through a high school hallway? If you have, then you'll know exactly what I'm saying. Everyone has earbuds in, or headphones, or any type of thing that you can listen to. Earbuds, AirPods, everyone's just not present, just completely antisocial walking through the hallway. I've even heard that some people don't listen to music. They just keep it on silent because they don't want anyone to approach them. Isn't that crazy? One day I was walking through a hallway another day and I looked around me. Imagine looking around you and all you see is just a bunch of unpresent teenagers just walking through a hallway, either glued to a screen with their ear AirPods in or walking with their AirPods in, hunched back. Then I went into my social studies room. That was the next hour. And I went over to my friend and I never, I always knew it, but I never really like actually considered it. He always had his AirPod in, his right AirPod. He always had it in, just listening to music throughout the day, the entire day, like 12 hours straight, just listening to music. That was when I was like, geez, this is, this is a problem. This is definitely a problem. He would be completely not present. He wouldn't be focusing well. Man, I'm shitting on him. I really don't, I really hope that he doesn't see this. Anyway, have you ever considered the amount of dopamine that you get from listening to music all the time? It doesn't even have to be all the time, like two hours a day. Might be arguably worse than watching videos. Because you're like revved up, you're really feeling the mood. Imagine how much dopamine that's soliciting. Music makes us okay with being bored. Music makes it so that we can sit on our bed and just listen. Music makes it so that we can, we can just eat food or work out. That's a big one. Without being bored. It makes us okay with being bored. And if you've, if you've seen any of my previous videos, then you will know that boredom is an extremely important tool for navigating to your goals. That's one of the most important things that I preach is that boredom is incredible and you can use it to your advantage. You can't use it to your advantage if you're listening to music and you're completely unmindful. If you're not in the present listening to music, you can't think. That's the truth. And if you think that you can, then it's not nearly as good thoughts as you could if you took those damn earbuds out. See, music takes away our mindfulness. Music takes away us like actually enjoying the present moment. It takes away all of that. Because if you're walking like, I know that many of you, many of you watching this video walk with your ear pods in, either listening to a podcast or listening to music. Do you know how bad that is? You're walking. You're walking with like a forest around you with a neighborhood around you. I don't care. And you're not taking in what's around you. You're just cooped up in your little world of your ear pods. Ear pods, earbuds. I think that if you took your e ear pods, ear, ear, fuck, <laughs> ear pods, ear, it, <laughs> if you took your ear pods out, then you would really experience something transformative. And if you look around and say, I'm grateful for that tree, Sounds kind of weird, right? I'm, I'm so grateful for this tree over here. Imagine a world where we didn't have trees. I'm so grateful for this sidewalk down here. I wonder how long it took for them to make this sidewalk. Wow. I love these workers, man. I'm super grateful for them. Dang, this neighborhood looks like an oasis. How did we make this? Do you understand that power? 
Do you understand how happy you would be if you actually took in the present moment? I used to be there too, man. I used to be cooped up in my own world of my earbuds. And I would listen to some horrible music. Like, <laughs> some really bad music. And if you've ever listened to, like, screaming rap, then you know. Like, Suicide Boys, Kill Switch, Ghost Main, things like that, if you've ever listened to them. Like, heavy shit. Like, I wanna kill myself, fuck a hoe, shoot up people, buy a gun and shoot up a school, things, sh fucked up shit like that. And it's horrible. And I can't believe that people just mindlessly listen to this kind of stuff without actually realizing the effect it has on their minds. But now I finally got out of my cooped up realm and I promise you that out, of, out here, out of the world that you are in currently, it's way better. It's way better. I promise you. Just try it for a week, man. Y your mindfulness just goes up and I swear your happiness just goes up. It's insane. The affirmations that these bad artists, okay, they're good artists, they make some pretty sick beats, but these unholy artists, do you realize the affirmations that they're putting in your brain? The affirmations that they're putting in my brain. I want to kill myself, man. I just shoot this guy. I just shot this guy and I didn't feel bad about it, man. <laughs> Look at the lyrics, man. Look at the lyrics if you're not, if you don't know what they're saying. Okay, so I might as well tell you what I listen to because yes, I listen to a bit of music now still. But I don't listen to any of the bad music anymore. I listen to this like weird tribal music thing. I'll leave a link in the description for it. It's not an affiliate link. I'm not gaining anything out of it. I just want you to hopefully find some music that's a bit better than the stuff that you're listening to currently. Obvi obviously, I don't, don't listen to this all day, every day because of the dopamine effects. I, I think I only listen to it for like 15 minutes a day to get kind of revved up. Stop listening to music now. I hope that makes sense by this point. Most of you have clicked, clicked off by now. For the people who have stayed, I'm very grateful of you for actually listening to my message. If you like my message, my channel name is him, not because I am him, but because we are all striving to be him. And hopefully I can help you on this journey. I'll see you in the next video.